Okay, this is an overview of how to make the video tutorials or screencasts. Um, most of the information is encapsulated in a mind map which will be updated. You can find this online in this location. So if you want to make a note of that, pause the video here. You need some different software and hardware. Basically, you know, there's stuff on Wikipedia about screencast capture. We're going to use Cam Studio. Um, we'll also be using video editing to edit the video once we've created it. Uh, we looked initially at Lightworks, uh, Avidimux and Virtual Dub. I tried out Lightworks and uh, ended up using Avidimux quite successfully. You also might want to use audio overlay. Now you can use audio overlay to uh, reuse your presentation and dub it for a different language. Uh, for the audio creation we used a bit of software called Audacity and we needed the lame mp3 encoder for that. So the links are all available from this mind map so please do go and get it. Uh, we aim to go for open source, um, relatively easy to use and cross-platform applications. Cross-platform so these um, videos can be reused uh, in multitude of different environments. So what hardware do we need? We need a computer, well, hey. uh, and uh, a headset microphone um, to record audio. So how do we go through the capturing a video? Um, using Cam Studio, we needed to change some of the audio settings. Initially, the default for the audio is off. We also needed to change the video uh, rendering and capture settings. So that's one frame per 40 milliseconds, which is equivalent to 25 frames per second. That was important so we could import the videos through to our editing application. Uh, for editing, we used a Vidimux. Um, we can use that to trim gaps, uh, so you know where time is being wasted, where software is doing something, or there's a gap at the beginning, so on and so forth. And also to reduce uh, video size uh, by reducing screen resolution, image quality, and audio quality. Uh, thankfully, a Vidimux has some pre-configured settings for, for handhelds, which deals with that automatically, and this can reduce file size to about 15% of the original. Um, then there's audio overlay. Uh, we did this in, in Audacity. Essentially, you uh, set the video, sorry, audio recording, you start playing the video, and you just talk while the video is playing. Uh, it's a good idea to turn down the microphone so you're not distracted by the original audio, um, sorry, uh, the, turn down the volume for a headset so you're not distracted by the original audio for the, the video you're watching, uh, and to put um, blocker gaps in the video. Uh, sorry, in the audio, so you know when you can synchronize them. That will become apparent when you watch the video for this. And then there's the issue of uploading video to your favorite YouTube or Vimeo or wherever. Um, I'm not going to put a video on for that because if you can't do that, you shouldn't be here in the first place. Fabulous. Okay, well, have fun, and I hope you find these useful.